Hey everyone. So I was at Collision 2023 last week, and this was one of the things that got the most attention was making a print come to life with just 2D content. It was video, right? Something simple and having a button come to life. Didn't have to be 3D, just 2D content and video coming to life on, on print. That got a lot of traction, having all these buttons come to life. I'm going to show you how you can do that real easy. All right, so now we're going to create this demo. It's super simple. So what you do have to do is you do have to go to canva.com. Now, usually you would use Canva directly right inside Rollcast, but to generate the MP4 I'm about to show you, we do have to go to canva.com. So Canva has a ton of uh, templates, okay? But we're just going to grab one, and I'm just going to grab this one right here. So let's go to customize this template, all right? So what we want to do is I'm just going to leave everything as is. I'm going to come over to... Uh, Elements. I'm going to go to video, sweat videos. Let's just come down here and grab something that's eye catching. All right, I found this video that I really like. So I'm just going to simply drag it and replace the image that's in the background. So that way we can leave this background image uh, as it is. It's a mask around the image, okay? So let's just go, we can change all this, of course, but let's just leave that for now. What we're going to do is we're going to go share and we are going to go download and we're going to go MP4 video. Before we do that, I want to get rid of a couple of these elements, raise clouds, they don't really make sense. And that looks good. Let's just go share, download, send an MP4, and we will go, we will leave it at the resolution that it is. It's a big old download. While it's downloading the MP4, we will go to Worldcast Studio and we'll pick Printcast. You've picked Printcast. We don't need the tutorial since I am the tutorial in this tonight. So let's call this travel to travel and let's go next. Let's go design a Canva and we'll just, we'll just grab this square aspect ratio. Let's go to projects. And the one that we have just made is in there. So let's just select that. And this is gonna be our tracking image. So we still, of course, can edit this uh, text. We can scroll through the video. This is gonna be our starting frame. And we can change the text and all that stuff, but I'll leave that up to you for your own. I'm just gonna leave that as is for now. And I'm gonna go export to printcast. So that is gonna be our tracking image. All right, it's gonna make a perfect marker. I am going to go create. Now, before I do anything else to it, as soon as it comes into the studio, now a lot of this will be based on you've watched other tutorials, but again, as always, you can, here's the uh, mouse controls across the top, rotate camera, pan camera, and zoom. Nice and easy. Close this bottom bar. All right, I'm going to go save, save and publish, because I want to grab the QR code in this case. I'm going to go check out. We can leave it on free. If you really want to, I would love go to the upgrade and pay $10 US a month. Go check out. All right, so I'm just going to change this to uh, styled. We'll leave it with Worldcast. You, of course, can go simple. And if you have your own partner studio, you can go to your own logo in the middle. In this case, we'll just go styled. And I'm going to download the PNG. I'm just going to open this up in the folder. It's off to the side. So let's just go return to studio. Let's go cast properties. We are going to go select a new file, edit on Canva. And we're simply going to drag and drop this QR code into the image because we want people to know how to be able to access the content, right? So let's just put it up here in the corner. And this also becomes part of our tracking image. All right, I'm fine with where it is. As you can see, all the Canva tools are built exactly in our studio, so even the snap to uh, design. So let's leave the QR code there. We, of course, could put a, a call to action on it, you know, scan me. We, we can put like an element, like let's go, uh, and this can look however you want, okay? So uh, put this thing together really fast. Cool. All right, let's just go export to Printcast. That will now bring in that new tracking image. There's a new image. It has a perfect score. We're going to go update. Here's our new tracking image. We are going to simply drag and drop this MP4 that we downloaded on top of this image. If it was a green screen image, we could go filter green screen. In this case, we're not going to do that. We're going to go proceed. And we're simply going to scale it up to the size of the image. Maybe just make it a little bit a hair bigger than the uh, actual target marker. And let's just hit play. Cool. Now we can add video or sorry, we can add audio with this as well if we wanted to. Again, I'm just showing you quickly how you can do this you this is your canvas you can put other images other text uh audio uh more video you can add 3d you can add uh, sketchup models or of course your own 3d object in this case i'm going to go uh let's make a button i'm just gonna go image then we can upload our own but in this case i just want a quick uh button so i'm just gonna go create button and we'll stay along with the theme color so let's go touch for more info and we'll just design this a bit here go border options a little bit bigger color that border uh, maybe white go to corners again you can do whatever you want i am just doing things to have a little bit of fun and do this quickly let's go back down to color options let's just maybe change the top to yellow and the bottom we'll leave it we'll put to green all right let's just change the angle so it's a little bit more like that and i like that all right let's go export his image let's go upload let's make this bigger bring it up off the canvas down here let's tell it let's give it a little bit of a fade let's go uh maybe want to take three seconds with a three second fade in and we'll have it go to our website all right now maybe we just want to add one more thing 
Let's go image. You can upload your own, but I just want to grab an image from the library. Maybe we want to have it go to the Instagram page, right? So we've, we've already pre-populated the studio for you. So you can grab a, a one that matches your style. In this case, green theme going some that stuff. Let's go select and let's just bring it over side perhaps. And of course we could just put that link to the Instagram. In this case, I'm just going to have to go to our web and same delay and fade onto this. All right, so let's go save, let's go check out. So I can just scan this QR code and it's going to open up in the portal and it's going to ask me to line up with the matching image. In this case, I'm going to go uh, preview now and I'll just be able to aim at this image. And you can see that we had those buttons fade in uh, on the exact duration that we wanted to. So there's a way that you can bring your static marketing to life. So this could be a uh, this could be on a on a bus stop. This could be out of home advertising. This could be at a tourism office, a poster in the wall. This could be on the window. People walking by, they'll scan the QR code, and you can have audio and other narration going along with this. It's very quick and easy to do, and it's just another way to use to have a tool to your marketing to take existing content and make things nice, exciting, and engaging. I can't wait to see what you create.